is Nick Holden II, I'm a singer and a producer, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to What Lies Beyond Existence. Now, as you probably have guessed by what's on the screen, this channel is about music. More than that, it's about composing, for I will be, with your help hopefully, creating an album from beginning to end. Most of you, just like me, uh, we don't usually know where to start. As I've told you, I'm a singer, so I don't actually, most of the times, know where to start when stopping, when starting from the, the, a guitar or, or a piano or anything. Usually I just have an idea and as a singer, my default state is to hum something, record it on the cell phone, pass it on to a computer and try to grow from there. Most of the times, those ideas are disconnected ones. So, with your help, I think we can build or write something that's good, at least. So, as you've probably already noticed right below me here, you'll see something as a uh, saying level one. That's something that I would like to introduce here on the channel. You see, I like video games, RPGs, most specifically. And, just like an RPG, I'm the main character here. And just like in an RPG, I'm, at least by my standards, I'm at level 1. That says that I'm a level 1 musician, generally. I know how to sing, I know a little bit about keyboards, I know a little bit about piano, uh, create orchestrating something, or even have some notions about choirs. But I'm not a professional musician, per se. And that's part of the main focus of the channel. It's evolving, it's growing, it's teaching and learning. I, hopefully, uh, I'm expecting to learn a lot from you guys, people that know what they're actually doing, which I don't, and hopefully teach those who know less than me how to do something or how to start something. That's usually the, 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 main, the main issue with everyone. It's one of my main issues is where to start. That's what we were gonna do here. We're gonna create an album from beginning to end, each and every single song. Now, other things that's worth mentioning. The level one is gaming related, and I like to introduce uh, gaming, gaming characteristics onto the channel by leveling up, which means every time I finish a song, I will be leveling up a level, because I'm growing, I I've learned more, because every single recording session helps you a little bit and helps you evolve. So, every song grants me a level up, and I would like to introduce something else, something that I didn't introduce yet, because I'm still trying to figure out how all this streaming thing still works. But I will try to, because every character in a video game has an, an inventory system, I will try to introduce something like that for the, the gear buffs out there who really want to know what gear am I using. So right now, level 1 character. So basics of the basics. I have like a Shure SM58, a 10 year old Shure SM58. I have uh, speakers, which are uh, PreSonus Ares E5. I'm using a, a Focusrite, a Sapphire 6 USB, 10 year old. The computer, the computer is not a new computer, and pretty much all the material I have is at least 10 years old. Even my guitar, which is an LTD uh, Viper. Okay, uh, eventually as I evolve and the, the channel grows and I'm able to, to afford new equipment and things like that, I will be updating you guys on that as well as updating that inventory system that hopefully I will get here on the channel. That's the hardware part of it all. Let's talk about the music, right? Okay, the music... I don't want to label it because I have broad tastes. I like metal and rock, I like classic, and I, I like 
I like a lot of different things and most of what I want to compose it's directly related with the story I'm trying to tell or with the mood I'm at at the moment. Right now I can tell you this, the first album that we're gonna compose here live and produce and get ready to, to send out there is a, is a concept album, which means every single song is part of the story. More than that, I like lots of instruments, so if I feel that I need a, an orchestra over a, an heavy part, I will do it. I like big choirs, so I will try to introduce big choirs, not just replicating myself over and over again, but actually having probably a MIDI library with a big choir on a part. I like distorted guitars, but I also like clean guitars, so let's see where that goes. And that's pretty much it. So okay, let's talk about what's on the screen right now. As you can see, and I've already told you, I'm not a, a professional musician per se, you can see already that this is not right. If I was to send this to an engineer, to a mixing engineer, he would get back to me and say, well, where do I start? Because not there, there's no actual label here other than my stream mic. There's no layer here specifying what this is, there's no point, there's nothing. Because when I wrote it, I didn't prepare the song for, for a writer, and then I had to, to, for, to, to erase all the data from my PC and reinstall it all over again, and I noticed that I didn't do that. So, if you guys already have songs prepared, you want to send it to a mix engineer, first thing you need to do is consolidate the tracks on their right places. So they all start on the same place and save the mix engineer some time. Now, because I was the one writing this, I know where they start. This song is always the song however has one year old, is one year old, and it's the only song on the album that I didn't wrote myself. I mean, I wrote it, part of it, but I had uh, the help. Actually, the, the main idea for this song was from a friend of mine, which I already asked him if I, if I could use the song, which he said yes. So we're gonna tackle it. He wrote the, the beginning of the lyrics, the main melody, <clears throat> and um, part of the... He wrote it on a guitar, actually. I've transposed it to a piano which is this track right here, so piano. Now, I haven't attributed any uh, VST plugin yet, so let's do it right now, shall we? Okay, first plugin I'm gonna use, it will prob probably be from Presonus. Let's give it the presence one. Very easy one, it's just to see in which state the the, the MIDI is, the track is, it's probably badly, badly written. We're gonna take care of that. Okay, piano. The sound's coming off, so... Oh, the time is not right. If I, cor if I remember this correctly, I think it was 63. We'll adjust it accordingly. this is this is it this one's the voice uh, this one so I'll call it voice guide <clears throat> this is something I usually do I create a voice guide in a in the piano because again not a professional musician so my my notions of theory aren't that great I mean, I know about scales, I know about the Greek modes and things like that, but I wait, I need to think about it or usually go to my cheats to see what I'm doing. So I find it easier to just do this, open up the 
MIDI drawing board and by visually seeing what I'm doing, I know which notes to press. It's very, it's a very rudimentary way of doing things. But right now it's what I can do. I do have a piano, but I don't have the space on my desk to actually put a piano. If I could show this to you, you would see it's a mess. I don't have space for anything else. I have my cell phone right here and that's pretty much it. So for most of the part, until I get a bigger space and a bigger desk to actually have the piano evolved, involved, I will be writing down the melodies using a mouse and a keyboard, which is not ideal. But again, level one will be evolving. That's part of the deal. I surely hope you guys like the the premise of it all. I know for for the most advanced guys out there, the ones that actually know what they're doing, this might sound boring as all hell. But for those like me that are trying to figure out what they're doing, trying to know where to start, maybe you can relate and uh and actually learn and use what I'm doing and get your own ways of doing it because again it's all about um, it's all about you knowing what's best for you it's it's the the door discussion all over again who's what's the best door the best door is the one that helps you the best it's the one that you feel more comfortable working with for me it's Presona, Presona Studio one I've worked with Pro Tools, I've worked with FL Studio, Reaper, uh, I've started with Nuendo, which was confusing. Then I passed to Sonar, which was even more confusing. Then I changed to Pro Tools and Reaper, I was working with those. And I eventually I got the gist of it, but the learning curve wasn't helping me at all. And I'm a visual kind of guy, and then... Presonus. I bought the the speakers, decided to give it a try at the at the door, and that's it. It it stuck with me, got stuck with me, and I actually like it. It's an amazing door, very intuitive, easy to understand, very powerful if you know what you're doing, which most of the times I don't. So, yeah, that's it. Now, where were we again? This one, voice guide. So, it won't be this kind of sound, but just to paint a better picture, let's, let's get this one. So, this is a choir. It won't be a choir, it won't be a sing it will be a single voice, but it helps. something now. And this one is a violin. Simple. Oh, I didn't explain what the song is about. As I've told you, all my my music, or at least most of it, is usually part of a concept album. I like stories. I like to to tell stories and I like when I'm told stories. So what better way of creating music than just telling a story? So this is part of what I usually like to do for... I say usually like to do as if I'm, I've been doing this for years and years, which I don't. I've had the DAWs and dabbled around it and got frustrated and didn't have the right materials and I got bored easily. So. Now, I'm trying to do things right, and by doing things right is actually getting it right at the source. Now, I cannot do everything right at the source because I, can't prob I don't probably have the right materials for it. I have most of them, and 
as you probably noticed by what's on the screen, if you look at this correctly, you see this is all free plugins. I've worked with FabFilter, I've worked with Isotope, I've worked with Soothe. Guys, if you know what, if you know your way around VSTs and contact libraries, for example, I've worked with. Um, I've got to find a way to put this on another place. I've been hitting it a lot. I'm sorry for that. Uh, contact libraries. I've worked with. I like to work with Algae Imperia. So, Area. Um, the other one. The. Uh, oh, I've been using it a lot. I've used it a lot. Again, this is all mine, and where I've worked with this, it wasn't mine. So, I'm. I'm limited to what I have. I've worked with what was the the Audio Imperial ones, the Nucleus. It was it, there, there was another one, one with the uh, the first one. Nucleus was the second one I've got. Ah, don't remember. But uh, big orchestras with big sounds, and BBC Orchestra too. I've worked with it, and um, yeah, I'd love to work with that, with those plugins again because it's so easy. To, to get good sounds out of it because they're already compressed and edited and you just put it on and adjust the volumes and it's all right there. Uh, drum related. That will be my Achilles ill. I never worked with uh, Stephen Slate's uh, drum program, the free one. I've worked, again, Superior Drummer and uh, the other one for the other one from Tune, Tune Tracks, Easy Drummer, and those are awesome. Easy Drummer, again, completely edited. You just put it on the DAW, and it works perfectly. It's amazing. Superior Drummer, though, I love that one because you can actually tweet it. It 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 comes not completely raw. It's not the the the, the raw file out of the the mics where they recorded it. So you do have. To, to adjust and to play with the tones to to make them work with what you're building and what you're creating. However, this will be a fun experience. It's all free. The only thing I I've bought for this for this stream and for my new take on my own music was the DAW, actually. I bought the DAW, that's it. I'm I've paid for Studio One Presonus. Uh, the Sphere version, it's a. Uh, if you're in your in Europe, it's a uh, twelve buck twelve euros uh, a month. It's fifteen bucks if you're uh, in America. So it's very cheap, uh, and I I, I kind of like it. It's it's an awesome price for such a powerful project project. However. All the other things are free, so we're gonna be working with stock plugins and actually prove once and for all if you can actually create a professional sounding uh, album with stock plugins. Next! Next was... no, no contact, I wish. Uh, Presonus again. Presence. Let's find a violin. Okay. So, strings, violins, allegato should work. Okay, and now let's see what do we have here. Okay, the levels are all messed up. The piano cannot be like this because it sounds awful. This... Let's put it all on the same level by now because it's gonna change. It's all gonna change. Um... And yeah. You already got a taste of 
more or less what the song is about. So this is the skeleton of the song, the skeleton of the song. It's the beginning, it's the sketch. Okay, I've got the voice, got the piano, got the violin. That's the main core of what the song is all about. Again, I was told, uh, I was telling you, I was telling you that I like to be told stories. So, the story of this album, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'm gonna tell you the story song by song. Because, again, usually people create an album, send to the public, and the public had the ch has the chance to put the, the, the record on and listen to the whole song from to the whole album from the beginning to the end you, you don't see you don't usually see this part so i do know that my main audience will be niche it's it's a it's a stream platform that's basically for gamers i'm creating music on it and <laughs> it's not specifically music i'm actually composing so it's a niche within a dish niche within a niche for someone who's not english this is a tongue twister. Okay. So, first song, it's appropriately called The End. Hey, Realtor. Thank you for being here. Now, is, is the sound good today? <laughs> I read the issue the other day. <laughs> Greetings, matey. So good to be here. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, for those who don't know, this is actually my second try at uh, at creating, at, at making this first stream video. The other one, I've created everything, I've tested it all out, and as soon as I went live, no, no voice from the mic. Actually had to work around it. But I've actually found a way to work around it. Still not completely satisfied though, but that's an issue for another, pro another, another day. By now, first song, The End. This song tells you the story about... This is, this is the part of the story that's, that works like uh, an, an, an epilogue. The, the beginning of the book, where... On top this time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good. Is it too loud? No? Hope not. Um, yeah. This first song, I'm all over the place today, again, first stream, very sorry about it. Um, let's start from the beginning again. So, for song, the end, I like to tell uh, each song will be part of the chapter, and the... I, I don't want you guys to spoil the fun. If you had a, a, an album at home, it would be a completely different experience. Right now, for me to actually give you uh, the story I want to give you, I need to I need to make it to make it so that at least I won't spoil everything. So for you guys to know what's on the next chapter, eh, you need to be here, which works just fine for me. Um, so, that's how it's gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna spoil uh, most of this, most of everything, because I'll be composing it live. But, hopefully, I'm not spoiling the story, which, for me, is one of the main, one of the main aspects when I'm listening to an album. I need to be taken on an adventure, or whatever the the composer tried to to give me so that's what i'm gonna try to do with you guys i'm gonna create this story from the beginning and hopefully you'll be here to see it all to see it unravel so about this song this song it's called the end that's how we're gonna start an album which i find it kind of funny it's probably not the first one, and I'm pretty sure it's a cliche. I'm not sure, but I'm kind of certain that there are already albums out there that started with a song called The End. However, for this specific concept, it works just fine. It's 
appropriate and it starts with a funeral. Gloomy, right? I know. That's another another aspect of, of it all. I'm I'm not a gloomy kind of guy, but I do like gloomy topics and I have uh, a gothic side within me that I cannot put to rest. My life depended on it. So a little bit gothic here and there, a little bit melodic. I like melodies. You notice. You'll notice that. However, I do like prog, so if I can, I will try to make it a little bit complex. However, not overly complex, so it, it will always have, hopefully, catchy melodies up on top of it. So it's a little bit for everyone. Again, with the orchestra and the choirs, big sounding thing. But this is all ideas. Can I make them work? Let's see. Okay, so this song is called The End, as I've told you. This is a funeral. This is a guy saying goodbye to their family, to his family, his wife and his daughter. They perished. How? Eh, I can tell you that. It's not addressed in any other of the songs. So, uh... Guy had a busy schedule, lovely family, one day, for some reason, uh, her wife, his wife and his daughter went away, had an accident, and they died. And this is how the guy, this is how we find the, the main character. Completely lost, completely heartbroken. And this is his eulogy, per se. So, I'm not sure if I should put the lyrics on screen. Next time I'll put the lyrics on screen. I will have, like, a, a square here with the lyrics always on top, so you guys can, can listen to it. However, he will start as, I've lost my anchor, I've lost my dear, my oldest friend. It's his wife. And we'll start from there. So, okay, this piano, this piano needs to be worked on. This piano needs to be worked on because it doesn't sound good at all. Bam. Seems like 8-bit piano. So, that's the first thing we'll address. First... Hmm. Okay. Keep in mind, guys, this... I don't... I'm gonna... It's gonna be a learning process here. Again, I need to remind myself... I need to remind myself where the shortcuts are for the piano. So, yeah. Okay. First part for in humanization, the humanization of the piano. You need to which I don't like. I really don't like that. So, Let's work in a different way. Let's work with chords. Let's try something out here. Why aren't the, they aren't con, they aren't starting where I want them to? Is it sixty? No, it's 63. This is way too stopped. However, should probably quantize it all. If it works, maybe it's in 32. Is it? It's not. Hmm. Let's quantize it. <laughs> Yeah, 
Frank und da ist. Okay. Some Final Fantasy FX sounds. The PS series is just saying. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I do have some influences from Final Fantasy. The the composer. Nobu Uematsu. Amazing composer. Final Fantasy IX has such an amazing soundtrack. Actually, Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy VIII. The first, the first one I, th I don't think he did. Was it Final Fantasy X? He did Final Fantasy X, I don't remember. If it's the first one he didn't do, or if it was the last one he did do. He did do. Final Fantasy X also has an amazing soundtrack. Pretty much all Final Fantasy have great soundtracks. However, Nobu Uematsu is a legend in the field. However, I'm creating albums, not video game soundtracks. For some reason, I don't find that appealing. I do like to see people creating stuff. There's a there's a YouTuber. I don't mention it's forever in my heart. Yeah, mine too. You do know that. <laughs> Final Fan... Um, there, there's a, a YouTuber, Steven Mellon, I think, that uh, that creates music for uh, video game soundtracks, which is actually quite helpful. He works in Cubase and actually composes uh, on site, on stream also. So if you want to know more about composing for soundtracks, go check the guy out. He's actually pretty cool. Helped me a lot. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? I'm working in D. I think I'm gonna. Duplicate this. Put him down. It wasn't a duplication that I wanted. It was. I've worked a lot with FL Studios Piano Roll. So every time I duplicate something in FL Studio, the the notes uh, stack above each other. So because they stack above each other, it doesn't create uh, uh, another space at the end of the song. This empty space here. I just need to create D, they'll get there, I put them down, and it just goes down. It's kind of easy. It's one of the things Piano uh, FL Studio has uh, in favor. One of the things that I like the most in FL Studio is the piano roll. Piano roll is so easy to work with. Okay, so, D. D. But just this isn't enough, so yeah, see, you click duplicate and it just doesn't work. I'm sure there's a, there's a shortcut for it. Nobu is master, although Final Fantasy XV is another composer. And choirs of the game. The choirs of the game are epic. Yeah, damn right. Final Fantasy XV is an amazing game too. I mean, it, it's the Ramu summoning time. Yeah, when Ramu appears for the first time, that's the first, the first contact with reality that you get. Shit just gets real. But yeah. However, I still. Yeah, I still, I still, I'm still in love with Final Fantasy IX's uh, soundtrack. Final Fantasy IX is top notch. Okay, do I need to duplicate this? I don't want to duplicate this. Hmm. Now I'm just messing shit up. Okay.
So minor third, and let's see if. Ugh, man, I'm so. I'm so used to to FL Studio that it, it's not even funny. Okay. Let's see if this works. It might not. No. No. Not even a little. Not even at all. So, how are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? How can we put that boom? That. Let's see, it ends too quickly. Cannot end that quickly. Cannot end that quickly. Should work. It should work if we went like this. In theory, it would work. to me no it's it's an a it's this a Sorry guys, this that piano intro reminded me of something. What? What did it remind you of? Intro C, intro V. Go to the A. one's weirder. Where are you at? D. Okay. We'll do it like this. Control C, Control V. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but well. Trans Siberian Orchestra from the album Beethoven's Last Night. Yeah, man. Yeah. Trans-Siberian Orchestra is an amazing project, man. And Beethoven's Last Night. Yeah, my favorite album from, from those guys, that's for sure. And yeah, it, my pianos tend to... Yeah, I know why you remind you that reminds you of Beethoven's Last Night. Uh, Moonlight Sonata from Beethoven. 
goes more or less like this. It it has this up and down, very repetitive, not not very repetitive, but a, a very. It, it it's a it's a, a very similar cadence to to what I'm doing. Dun 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 Yeah. It's it's more or less the same thing. That's Beethoven for you, and since it's my favorite uh piano player pretty much of all time. And Moonlight Sonata is probably the best song ever written. And you can quote me on that. That's awesome. It shows the good roots. The good roots in music, yeah? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And to this day, I'm still pretty sure that if Beethoven was alive today, he will be an heavy metal musician. No doubt. Beethoven, Wagner, those guys, heavy as whole hell. So, yeah. Okay. Back to... This. <laughs> So, again, C, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, no. where's the C, probably for D, duh, there you go, and an E. So, let's see if it all makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Right. See, it gets a more more like a, a a low body to it. Again, it's all quantized, very robotic. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of the velocities later on. From now for now, I just want things to be to be composed, at the very least. Just goes up. One thing I've noticed. Yeah. See, another thing that shows that I'm not a professional, because every professional has the things color coded and very well organized. So, where do we color code here? It's right here. So, the voices, of course, need to be green. If you're not putting your voices in green, you're doing it wrong. I'm kidding. You can put <laughs> which color actually helps you. This one, because doesn't part of the is not part of the. the song, I need to have it in a very neutral... Yeah. And... almost disappear. But it doesn't need to be that disappeared. Like this, the piano needs to be in a very... Hmm. It's one of those. But this like this ones I like for the, the cellos. But the piano needs to be close to that. Huh. That's one thing I'll probably do live with you guys. Find another... Find a better color code for, for my mixes. Because right now... And I've told you, I'm a very visual guy. It, I cannot see green with this bright pink together. It just messes with my OCD. So... I'll uh, have this one and hope for the best. The violins are blue, but not this blue. This. I need uh, like a frozen kind of blue. Violins have that that particularity where I 
I find him very cold instrument. They can be very hot, you know, sound su sound hot. I, I, I cannot explain this any other way. There are instruments which their timber, their sound passes you uh, and not, not only an emotion, but um, a temperature. This is weird to explain. But the violins, to me, the way I like to use them is like this very frigid, very arctic kind of way. They're here to provide that cold feeling. So in this music, I'm using them just specifically for that. They're not here just to provide emotion and because it's it's a sad song, it needs to have a, to have a violin just for dramatic purposes. No, it's here to provide you a temperature, cold, which I will help later on with FX. I will put rain and things like that, which is another thing I like to do. I like to put effects on the songs. It's, it's part, if I'm trying to tell you a story, giving you an environment, an ambient, where you can lose yourself in, the effects are very, very important. So, I like to, to play with rain and uh, thunder and things like that, and maybe creepy voices. There's a song later on that has creepy voices because it needs to. Or it, it might not need to, but gives you that little extra color. And usually more color is not bad, or at least I don't find it so. So for the violin, yeah, this one, sure. Is it the f the one that that was on? I believe it was another another ton of blue. Well, doesn't matter. The song, violin. If you guys never never dwelled in a in a DAW, if you're trying to find your way around it, just like I still am. Um, this is actually important. Like I said in the beginning, if you're not the one mixing and mastering your own songs, if you're gonna send it to a mix engineer, you would probably like to color code everything and consolidate it. Right now, they're in MIDI, I don't want to... Well, I can do this. So... There. So, if I were to give this to a... To a sound engineer, or a mix engineer, for him to... Uh, to produce the song, now he would know how to start. Because every single track starts on the same place. So, you would probably upload the songs to his DAW and the songs will fall right on place. So doesn't matter if the voice or the violins start a couple of bars after the beginning of the song, he will know exactly where it started because you've already prepared it for him. And that's a lifesaver in for most of the studios. Because the more the the mix engineer spends doing this type of things for you the more money you're spending because it's time that it's time that the engineer is spending and time is money therefore do yourselves that favor and the mix engineer you're working with that yeah I need to do this here too guide, piano, and violin. Now, I started this because I notice the voices are way too loud. Instead of doing this, I should probably do this. Oh, I haven't set the shortcuts yet. No! Okay. Let's go down. 5 dBs. Okay. 
so it's more or less on the same place. Uh, let's finish. Let's finish this part of the song. No, not FL Studios. Not the piano roll from FL Studios. We're working in. Personas. Why can't she remember that? No. 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 There you go. Okay. 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 I swear to you guys, this will get better and this will get better and faster and not as painful to watch as it is right now. So sorry. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out. What am I doing wrong? That's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. So. There you go. But it's not here. It's not tough. Right there. Now, which ones I'm missing? Not missing anyone. Not missing any more, right? Okay. So, from start to finish, this is only the beginning. I will just give an octave lower. I want to give you for for the pianos. I'm not gonna try to to give the to, to tell you if it's major or minor probably in doing that with your pagio or the uh, ostinato i don't know what's what's going here it's, it's an arpeggio right feel free to correct me every time i do or say anything stupid that's what we're here for for me to learn for you to learn and hopefully together we can create something good however i do believe this is an arpeggio the main, the, the tonics of it, I'm doubling it uh, an octave lower or higher, depending on what you're looking at. I think I started here, so an octave lower. And I'm not gonna tell you if it's major, minor, augmented, whatever. It didn't sound good, because I think I did it wrong anyway. But it didn't sound good, I didn't like it. I'm just giving it the octave. If I need to define, or if I find the need to do it later on, to to accentuate that minor tone tonality or major tonality, whatever, I'm gonna do it, but probably with another instrument. The piano will be like this, very simple. I will probably double it with a, an acoustic guitar or a, an electric guitar in clean, probably. I don't know if it's good or not, if it will sound great or not, because I do want this song to be very minimalist, minimalistic. Um, I don't want to start right there. I need. I like to start later on, but nine is impar, and my OCD doesn't allow that. Sorry, <laughs> weird guy. Um. So yeah, I will probably double it. If it sounds good, I'll keep it. If it doesn't, I'll erase it. That's how it works. It's trial and error. So, I remember this song was composed mainly on a guitar. My friend that actually created the, the main bass for what I'm doing in the piano, he did it on a guitar. The main melody is his. The ending and the lyrics are divided. The violin is all mine. So, yeah. I will make sure to credit him because this song exists thanks to him. It's the only one on the album. I've already asked him. I don't talk to him in in a very long time. 
should probably call him. Um, but yeah, Edgar, Edgar, if you're listening, thank you. It's, it's gonna be a great song, and it's a great beginning for for the album. So, guys, for today, this is it. It's gonna be a, a very, it's gonna be a very. It's it's a very it's not slow that I'm looking at. I'm very sorry. Even my English is rusty. It's my English is at level one also. It, it's gonna be a very short stream. Mostly my streams will be very short. Not not very short, but it, it, between uh, half an hour and an hour. Right now at the weekends, I'm gonna start a little bit earlier, probably around three o'clock or nine or four o'clock uh, West time zone. And West is for Western European summertime. I'm gonna start at 3 or 4, depending on on my schedule. And I cannot tell you if it's gonna be on Saturdays or Sundays. However, and the schedule for, the, for next week, I'm gonna be live Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Again, West time zone. So, yeah, right now, because we're in August, I'm on vacations and I need to spend time with my family. That's how it's going to be. So for the next week, nah, your English is good. Eh. <laughs> the accent's probably not. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so for next week, because we're in August and I have a family and I have my parental... Uh, duties, I still have to enjoy the last week of my vacations with them. So for the next week, I'll be live Tuesday and Thursday, 7 p.m. West on the dot, hopefully. Um, so check those out. Next weekend, I'll also be live. I don't know if it's going to be on Saturday and or, or on Sunday, but... You can go to the tweet to my Twitter account, my Twitter page, and check it out. I will post. I'll be posting uh, the schedules quite frequently, or at least on the day of a stream. I'll tell you if I have decided, or if I already have the schedule for next weekend. I will probably tell you earlier. So for this next week and a half, two weeks, it's gonna be kind of bumpy. Again, like this stream has been kind of bumpy. I'm trying to get my hand, uh, my head around all the things I've already, I've already forgot. So, bear with me, guys. It will get better. Again, level one. <laughs> we'll, we'll be evolving soon and faster, hopefully. So, any other things I want to say? Yes, couple of rules for the for the channel, though. Uh, we try to keep it clean, so no F-bombs, kind of safe for work, we don't know where people are listening to to, to the, the podcast, some people like to have the, the podcast on, or have some streams on while they're working, so, or, or they might be around children, so we will try to keep this uh, family friendly, okay, safe for work, so clean language. Um, I like to interact with chat as much as possible, so let's keep it in English also. Uh, this is it's an obvious one, but I shouldn't mention it ever, in any way, so no homophobic messages, no, uh, no, no racial slurs, no anything, okay? That's a big no here on, on our channel. And um, one last one. Let's try to keep uh, the conversations about politics and religion or pretty much any divisive topic. I, I, I don't want to I don't want to to say don't talk about it ever, but let's let's keep in mind if, if we're talking about issues that say a lot to other people, let's try to, to keep it uh, to keep the, the conversation. In, in a respectful manner, okay? Like grown-ups, let's be respectful. Other people have um, other ideologies, other 
uh, other cultures, other ways of thinking, and that's fine. That's what makes us interesting. So, again, let's let's talk about it in a respectful manner, if we really have to. Otherwise, let's talk about music. Let's let's share our tastes. Let's share our um, our ideas. Let's learn with each other. That's what we're here for. That's why I want this part of the gaming of the gaming community here on on our channel. Moderation is key. Moderation is key. Not only having moderators, but actually moderating ourselves. I mean, if if we're not all adults, most of us probably are. So we should be able to moderate ourselves also. Eventually, uh, if the channel grows to to a point where I need moderators, I'll find them. And we'll probably have some. But right now, it's it's simple. It's just be a good person and be respectful of others. And yeah, that's it. But let's rule. I, I, I've already wrote down some more. But this one is very important, which is have fun. Enjoy. Appreciate life. And let's give good vibes to each other. The world is already full of negativity and things like that, so why create more? Good vibes to you all. Again, I'm Nick Alden. It has been a pleasure to be here with you. Hope to see you next Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. West Time Zone. Thank you all for coming. Bye-bye.